गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टुडे लेट अस बिगिन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट ऑफ आवर सिलेबस दैट इज मॉर्फोलॉजी मॉर्फोलॉजी एज यू सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वर्ड्स इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वर्ड्स स्ट्रक्चर द फॉर्मेशन आकृति हाउ द वर्ड्स आर फॉर्म हाउ द वर्ड्स आर मेड एंड दैट स्टडी विच इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स एज वेल एज इट विच इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट डिविजन ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर linguistics as you know is the study the scientific study of language morphology comes within um, linguistics as well as grammar and it is the study of the internal structure of words so far we have been studying the structure of a sentence the structure of a phrase the structure of a clause now let us come to the smallest unit in the grammar hierarchy hierarchy utrand okay there are words then there are phrases clauses and sentences which are multiple sentences again divided into compound and complex sentences now let us come to the structure of the words words so far uh, they are there um, at the bottom level when we see this hierarchy but that is not the end um, level that is not the last level words can be divided into parts okay and that is the interest of this discipline or this part of study um, that is known as uh, morphology how the words are formed how the words are made into bigger words okay how the words come together to form more and more words so that is the morphology and when when i say uh, um, words are not the last unit then what is the what is the smallest unit of uh, morphology or this grammatical study of language that is known as the morphemes first there are morphemes then there are words then phrases then clauses and then the sentences so what is a morpheme morphemes are the words that can be uh, many words can be subdivided into smaller meaningful units so the smallest meaningful unit of grammar is known as that is below the category of words is known as the morpheme we can define morphemes as the minimal units of words that have a meaning and another criteria that should be applied to the, to the morphemes is that they cannot be subdivided further words can be divided into morphemes but when we say some some unit is a morpheme the criteria applicable to to that should be it it should not be divided it should not be further divided into smaller units or smaller parts so that is known as the morpheme as you can see here morphemes uh, are of two types free morphemes and bound morphemes free morphemes can be defined as the morphemes or the units that can occur alone 
that can occur that can stand independently as as a unit as a word for example bad here bad it is sufficient to to use this word it it has a, uh, it has a it has an independent identity independent meaning it can stand alone it can be used alone independently without the help of other units going with that so that is known as a free morpheme so basically morphemes are of two types free morphemes and the bound morphemes now what what are the bound morphemes those morphemes or units of words that must occur with another morpheme unless and until they are attached to another morpheme uh they cannot signify something or the other they are known as the bound morphemes for example li dash l y so what is the criteria applicable to this bound morpheme it cannot stand alone te swatantra pane ube rahu shakat nahi kiwa tancha vapar hou shakat nahi but they must be attached to another morpheme to produce a word so when we attach this li to bad or to serious then we get a meaningful unit which is a larger one that is badly seriously etc so bad is a free morpheme because it can stand alone it has a separate identity and li is a bound morpheme जोडलेला आहे ते आणि ते जोपर्यंत जोडल्या जात नाही दुसऱ्या मॉर्फिंग पर्यंत तोपर्यंत त्याला अर्थ प्राप्त होत नाही अर्थ जरी असला तरी तो इट कॅन स्टँड इट कॅनॉट स्टँड अलोन ते स्वतंत्रपणे कार्य करू शकत नाही सो दॅट दॅट काइंड ऑफ अ मॉर्फिंग इज नोन ॲज अ बाउंड मॉर्फिंग सो द मॉर्फिंग्स which are the bound morphemes are again divided into four categories they are of four categories which are those these are here the first one is known as a prefix what is a prefix prefix is the bound morph morpheme added to the beginning of a morpheme दॅट इज अ फ्री मॉर्फिम एखाद्या फ्री मॉर्फिमच्या सुरुवातीला जे जोडल्या जाते दॅट इज नोन ॲज अ प्रिफिक्स दॅन सफिक्स विच इज अटॅच टू द एंड ऑफ अ मॉर्फिम इज नोन ॲज अ सफिक्स इनफिक्स इनफिक्स इज द मॉर्फिम अगेन द बाउंड मॉर्फिम which is inserted into a morpheme in another video uh, i will demonstrate all these concepts with the help of examples and that will uh, make it clear okay so infixes are inserted into the morphemes and they are known as the infixes then we have the fourth category of uh, bound morphemes which is known as the circumfixes circumfixes are attached to another morpheme at the beginning as well as at the end such uh, affixes such morphemes which are the bound morphemes are known as the circumfixes now let us take a recap of what we discussed uh, today what we are discussing today let us start with the morphology again what is morphology it is the internal the study of the internal structure of words okay which is known as the morphology now morphology gives us the word morphemes morphemes are the smallest meaningful units say of grammar and they are known as the morphemes 
and uh, they can be they can again be defined as the minimal units of words which have a meaning and cannot be studied further cannot be subdivided further cannot be uh, made into different parts so they are known as the morphemes these morphemes are again divided into two types free morphemes and bound morphemes the morphemes which have a, which have an independent identity that can stand alone and that uh, that is known as a free morpheme bound mor bound morpheme is the morpheme that always go with the other morphemes and then get an identity that is known as a bound morpheme which is known as an affix affixes are of four types prefixes attached to the uh, beginning of a morpheme suffixes attached to the end of a morpheme infixes inserted into a morpheme inter inserted into a word which is a bound morpheme uh, sorry which is a free morpheme and circumfixes that is attached at the beginning as well as at the end so these are these are the terms related basically related these are the basic terms related to morphology we can say that this is our brief introduction to this important branch this important subdivision of linguistics and grammar which is known as the morphology uh, we will discuss in details uh, tomorrow thank you